Hello Beauty Bays, welcome welcome back to my channel. As you can see by the title, I'm going to be showing you how I got this pretty nail set, this brown and pink uh, tips nail set with this Beatles um, nail tips and glue set that I got from Amazon for 20 bucks. I will link it down in the description below. It's supposed to be a Apris Gel X nail um, dupe. So if you'd like to see how I got these nails, then just keep on watching. Okay, so here's the box. It says, be bold, be me, be Beatles. And it is the, you know, Beatles gel polish nail glue tips and set and everything. So opening up the box to see what they have in there. They have a little application guide to tell you how to um, do the nails, helpful tips, and everything like that. They have the little mini USB charging or pluggable nail lamp. They have the um, nail glue for nail tips and, you know, the little charger cord for the nail lamp. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, get the nail lamp plugged up and charged just so that we don't have to worry about that later. And then we're going to read through the instructions, everything, and get my nails all prepped and ready. Okay, so I have the nail lamp plugged in right here. It, I think, goes... Um, not on a timer so i'm gonna unplug it and plug it back in there's a little button on the inside and it's gonna stay on for i want to say 60 seconds i'm not sure since it's my first time using it but when i was watching long hair pretty nails she said it was more continuous so i think it's supposed to stay on for the 60 seconds so starting off i'm gonna go ahead and start reading through the um application manual thing and i'm just gonna lay it flat here so uh, you can see what I'm reading too. So the first step is to foul shape and buff the nails. So um, I'm going to, I've already uh, filed and did my cuticle work and everything like that for my nails because I wanted to get that out of the way because to me that wasn't one of the most important things. So since they want us to buff our nails, I'm just gonna take this buffing block and literally lightly just buff my nails. You know, nothing too crazy because that's not what they said. They said to just buff the nails, each nail. And yeah, I'm guessing this is to remove shine, which this is what I do when I typically do my nails. Typically how I do my nails is I kind of do this method that beetles have. Um, but instead of using a gel nail glue, I just use a base gel and it works pretty good for me, but, uh, I just want to give this a shot to see if this is better in a way. So I buffed out this hand, my left hand. I'm going to go ahead and buff this hand off the camera. Okay. So my nails are all, you know, fouled, buffed, everything like that, like they said. And step two is to cleanse the nails. So I'm going to do that. And I have these little um, sterile alcohol prep pads. I honestly cannot remember where I got them from, but they just come in this. And I'm just gonna use that to clean off my nails because the alcohol will also help oops, keep my nails um, dry, so. I'm just going to lightly, you know, cleanse the dust off of my nails, nothing too fancy. Okay, so after that, nails are all clean. Um, now for step three, it says to choose the proper nail size tips. Now I've already did that, I did that off camera, I have 
my nail sizes for my hands because I wanted to go ahead and do that because that part took a little while because of the sizing of these nail tips. I had to pretty much file the size of each of them to get them to perfectly fit because you don't want them to be too big, but you don't want them to be too small. You want them to fit just right. So if you have to file off the sides a little bit, that's okay. And that's exactly what I had to do. So I have my nail tips. So let's go ahead and just move on to part four. Part four says to take an appropriate amount of nail glue gel applied on the false nail tip. And then five goes right along with it. Place the nail tip on the nail, lightly press it to expel the bubbles and then cure under the UV LED lamp for 60 to 90 seconds is six. And uh, the seven, eighth and ninth uh, steps seem to go towards the styling portion which is to cut to the desired length and then apply the color and then you know all that now typically when i do this um style of nails i typically will still use a nail prep and primer but since they didn't call for that i'm not going to use it because i want to see how well this works uh, just on its own so starting off we're just gonna get right into it then i'm gonna move my little nail lip back right here and then i'm gonna get you know that led uv nail glue and i'm gonna open it up because i already got a brain fart on what it says it says take it on the take it on the tip and then you place it so i'm gonna just open up this nail UV LED glue and I'm basically going to do exactly what they said. I'm going to get it and I'm going to put some on the tip. Already knowing this is very like way more sticky than a base coat. So maybe this is different. Um, so yeah, I don't know if I put enough so we'll see. But I'm gonna take it and let it smush on over to my uh, nails there. And uh, yeah, I'm going to put it under the light. That's over here. I'm just gonna try to squish the light a little more in. I'll put it under the light for you know the 60 seconds that it says. Okay, so it went off, so I can only assume that that means that um, it was time. As you can see, I didn't put enough on, so there is a bubble right here, but the nail is stuck, like super stuck. I'm like twisting, turning, all that, not coming off. It's really stuck on there, uh, so that's nice to know. I'm gonna do this for the remainder of the nails and i'll be back once they're all applied i'm just going to speed through this part because it's going to be the same thing it's going to be repetitive so yeah Okay, so all the tips are on and they are secure. Um, I like this length, I do, I like the curve on them, but I am going to trim them down to size because I just don't want them to be this long um, right now. But I'm not gonna show me trimming them, painting them and all that in this video because um, this isn't what the video is about. The video is strictly about the Beatles nail kit thing and how to use it. And I do want to give a little bit of my two cents in on this versus me using the base gel. This is way stickier than a base gel. So I don't know if that means it's going to last longer or not. I do plan to do an update video uh, over these nails. Um, 
But yeah, the little nail lamp is cute and it works, but the fact that it's so tiny uh, kind of troubled me a little bit. So um, I do have a bigger nail lamp, but if you don't, I mean, it'll get the job done. But if you do, you may end up wanting to result to that, obviously. Um, but yeah, this is how they are looking right now. I am going to come back and show you the design and everything I did. But I'm just not going to show you how I painted them on camera because I don't want this video to be too long. And honestly, I have no idea what I'm about to do to them. I just know I'm about to paint them. So I will be back once they are painted, cut everything to show you the finished product. And yeah. All right, beauty babes. So I'm back. You can see my acetone over there. But these are what the nails are looking like you know just these simple brown nails with these like pinkish tips um on them super simple super easy you know nothing too extra i didn't really want to do anything extra but i wanted to do the brown because you know it's beginning to get fall time and everything like that but i do plan to do an update over if these nails last probably in about two weeks because typically that's when i start to change my nails out anyway um I mean, if they don't last, then I'll make a video sooner saying that. But, um, yeah, thank you for watching. We have come to the end of today's video. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.